Hi everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you can share your screen in Google Meet and still view all of the participants of the Meet all at the same time. So here we are on meet.google.com and we're just going to jump right in and click to create a new meeting and we'll just start an instant meeting. Okay, so we're in Google Meet. Hello, how's it going? Um, and I have two solutions for you. So I have a keynote presentation that I would like to share, but I also want to continue to see this screen right here and all of the participants of the Google Meet. So first of all, if you have two monitors, you can just move the Google Meet over to the second monitor. And you'll notice that I'm doing that now. You'll notice I have this presentation on my first monitor. Uh, so what I want to do is on the second monitor where I have Google Meet, I'm going to go down to the share, the present now button, which is that upward facing arrow towards the bottom. And I'm instead of sharing an entire screen, I'm just going to share a window. And I'm going to share my presentation window and click share. So when I do that, you'll notice that uh, it's going to come in here to the Google Meet. And uh, I'm still viewing myself as a participant. If there were other participants, I would be viewing them as well, as long as if you go to the three dots here in Google Meet, you just want to make sure that uh, when you go to the change layout option, that it's set to tiled. And uh, if we close that, so if there were other people in this Meet, I would see them here. Now at the same time, I can go over here to my presentation, and if I click play with Keynote, and I'm not sure if this is the same with all presentation applications, but it is with Keynote. If I click, click play, it's going to take over my second screen as well, so I'm going to lose Google Meet, even though it's not Google's Meet, Google Meet's fault. Right? So what I want to do is I'm actually just going to go up here uh, to view and I'm going to make sure that it's set to slide only. Okay, um, And then when it's uh, set to slide only, we're going to view in full screen and we're going to enter full screen. And you'll notice that now on my screen I can see this little top bar here. Uh, but on the presentation screen in Google Meet, that isn't there. So now I could go through this presentation. You know, if it had multiple slides, I could go over to the next slide and I could present. And at the same time, I'm still seeing this Google Meet screen with all of the other participants. Now, let's pretend you don't have two monitors. All you're going to want to do is, uh, it might be a little bit, oops, hit a button there. It might be a little bit more difficult um, if you are using Keynote. But what you're going to do is you're going to use the one window. So you're going to have Keynote say, on the right side of your screen, and then I would have Google Meet. Let's bring it all the way back over here, and then I would shrink that to maybe be, you know, a, a certain portion of my screen. Uh, so you now now you'll notice I'm still just sharing uh, the window. So the other viewers of the presentation aren't seeing that I have this second window next to my presentation. Um, so I could go through this presentation. Um, and still view the participants over here in the same screen. Now, with Keynote, you'll notice that uh, we have this top bar that we're seeing in the presentation. And unfortunately, I don't think there's a way around that with Keynote, just because if we enter full screen, you'll notice that then um, that presentation window uh, goes away where we're seeing Google Meet. So the easiest way is to have two monitors, but if you don't, you can do it like this. You just might have to get a little bit creative on what you're showing in terms of presenting. And just remember, when you go down to the share screen option, uh, let's redo that here, uh, make sure that you're choosing a particular window and then choose just the window that you want to share so it's not your entire screen. And that way you can put uh, the Google Meet in one part of your screen and then still have your presentation in another part and the viewers of the Meet will only see your presentation. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. And if you want to see more technology tips and tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you for today. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.